Hi, I'm Ryan with South Dakotans <laughs> Against Prohibition here today with Rick Weiland. And so I was going to ask you the question, Rick. It's been a few months since we last talked yep. on the issue, but uh, what is your stance on medical cannabis and industrial hemp? I support uh, uh, medical marijuana. I, I uh, have had, uh, over the course of the last several, well, probably months, that um, you know, that uh, issues come up have uh, come out in favor of it, and so I'm glad we're getting a chance to talk about it. Um, I have a friend uh, from Vermilion uh, by the name of Larry Smith. Actually, I saw this movie called Riding with Larry uh, several months ago, and uh, you know, he's struggling with Parkinson's, and I've seen what medical marijuana has done in terms of making sure he has some quality of life. And, uh, and I think there are, are a lot of people who stay open to it, uh, you know, that if they have friends in, in situations like that or know of somebody, uh, it does have a, a, a tendency to sort of knock down all the, the stigma mm -hmm. of, of marijuana in general, uh, of medical marijuana, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, it, and, and it needs to be regulated. I think it needs to be uh, part of what a, a doctor should be able to prescribe, and I, and I support it. Well, you know my dad, yeah. and his, his stance on it for a long time was absolutely not. Hell no until my grandma got cancer and died. Now he's a full supporter. I was having a conversation with a group of uh, folks in uh, Burke. No, it wasn't Burke. It was um, it was at Shorty's Cafe. I'm trying to remember where. Um, but uh, it was down in the uh, Shorty's. I think it might have been in Burke. I can't remember. You'll have to fix this. Uh, but uh, anyway, we they came up. You know, These were all you know, sort of retired farmers, ranchers. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's that subject came up, and there was a gentleman who was pretty quiet about it. But his wife had uh, had died of Parkinson's, and uh, you know, once he told the story, I think a lot of people around that table, um, you know, had to change their heart in terms of, you know, as long as it's regulated, as long as it's a prescription that a doctor can uh, uh, administer, then we need to open our our, uh, our our minds to it and make sure that uh, people have some quality of life. And if this is uh, uh, you know, a, a prescription drug that might provide that, then we need to do it. Things like Charlotte's Web for the CBD oil for the epileptics would be a great development for South Dakota, mm -hmm. as well as the um, Arizona Tears strain that just came out. It's actually shrinking cancer tumors. The clinical trials. And these are, are medical. Yes, uh, these uh, are uh, uh, these marijuana are, derivatives. And they're oils. Oils yeah. that are being developed, and they're also they just cut a bunch of research on the PTSD stuff in Arizona, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people who are trying to get that research back, get that program back up and running because it is proving to be effective for the vets right. that are coming back from the desert, having to reintegrate into society with all their pain issues and all of their. They hear a bomb go off on the Fourth of July. It's supposed to be a celebration of America. And they have to hide yeah. because they might freak out. Right. All right. Well, thank you for your time, you Rick. Bet. Thank you. You bet.